Hello, Virgo. This is Starbright. I'm here to do your reading for September the 20th through the 27th, 2022. This is not going to resonate with everyone. It's going to be for the sun, the moon, rise of Venus, and Jupiter in Virgo. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air with truth and clarity. Show me the cause I need to see and speak for Virgo. What did Virgo need to know at this time with truth and clarity? What's going on, Virgo, love life at this moment? What's going on with Virgo? Love life. So I'm going to call I need to see and speak in detail, spirit, with truth and clarity. What's going on with Virgo and their love life? Mm. Ugh. Some of y'all are getting married. Or some of y'all are uh, planning on getting married. Or some of y'all are married. Some of you guys have your own business or planning to have your own business. Let's see what's going on with your love life. Some of you guys could be married to someone or planning on getting married to someone. Tell me more about this. Or someone that you're planning on marrying, someone you could be already married to this person. You're bored in this relationship with this person. You feel like you, you feel lacking. You're unmotivated. You're restless. You could be angry. And you want to just take a break. You're tired of fighting with someone that you could be married to or living together with someone. Or someone you purchased at home with. You're bored. You're angry. You're tired. You want some kind of break from this person. Because you're feeling betrayed right now. You just want to give up. You're feeling victimized. You feel like you're hitting rock bottom with this person and this relationship with this person. You're not sleeping at nighttime. You're all in your head. You're going to be very depressed about this situation. You try not to show any emotions about this. You just want to leave. But you feel like you're feeling trapped in this situation with this person. You want to leave, but you're feeling trapped. It's like you can't get out of this situation. You just want to be single. But someone is still holding on to you. Can't let you go. Even though you move, this person is still going to be holding on to you. You want to start something new. Or you, you feel like this person is going to still hold on to you even though you want to leave. Because of a birth. Because you want a new career. You want to be, you want to be, mo you want to get motivated. You're trying to get motivated or you want to be inspired or you want to have sex with someone. And you know that you, you're going to get your justice. Because you could be in love with someone else. And you want to tell that person that you want to love someone else. That you want to move. You want to travel to this person. Because you see this person as someone very successful. You're trying to make a decision about this person. You feel a very burden and burnt out right now. Because this person could be pregnant. Or this person want to have your child. Or this person could have had your child. But you, you feel like things are not built on solid ground. You just want to leave. Tell me more about the situation, Spirit. And you want to apologize to someone. Someone that you want to fight for a relationship with. Because you could have cut this person out of their life. Because you saw this person as a player. Or this is one that you met when you were traveling. And you, this is when you could have end things with this person. You feeling guilty. You feeling ashamed. Because you, cause you feel like this person tried to manipulate you. You could 
met this person in some kind of establishment. You could have been talking to this person about someone from their past or someone from your past. And you're trying to balance yourself. Because your heart was broken. You feel like someone lying to you. Someone very deceitful. You, and you made a decision to work on things with this person. But you're feeling left out in the cold. Even though you could be married. Even though you were living together with someone. And this is when you saw this person as your twin flame. You're very attracted to this person. But you want to start going out. You want to start having some fun. And you or you went out, you had met someone younger than you, or you younger than this person. You received a message from this person wanting to talk to you. But you ghost this person so you can move forward. But that decision was not easy for you because you're married, or because someone could have a baby, your your mother, uh uh, uh baby mother. <laughs> Now you're feeling your repercussions of your action because you could have cut someone out of your life that, that wanted to talk to you. You try to be patient about all of this because you see the sunshine with this other person. You want to commit to this other person, but you had this person waiting because of someone you saw was your soulmate. You saw this person at some event. You want you want to go to some event, or you saw this person at some event, and you wanted to talk to this person. This is when you feel like you don't miss an opportunity with this person, and you're looking back when you made this person sad. But now you want this opportunity. You want to take that leap of faith with this person because you want to be in a loving, happy family with this person. But you wanted things to keep a secret because your family. And you want to equal give and take with this new person. You see this person as you wish fulfillment. You wanted to marry this person. You want to have kids with this person. You want to have a business with this person. You want to just walk away and have some kind of new opportunity. And you feel like if you stay in this relationship with your, your person. If you feel like you, if you stay in a relationship with, this, with your person. You're not going to be fully invested. Because you're going to have some kind of secret from them. That you have won some kind of victory with someone to give you attention. This is a new person. And you want the, your luck to change. But you know a decision needs to be made. Because you keep thinking about this person. You stress out because you feel like somebody else could be fighting for this person's attention. And you sitting up here have the relationship on hold. Mm, yeah, this is one that you wishing for. This is one that you want in your future. This was some of you guys. Some of you guys that could be stuck in another situation you can't get out of. You met someone. You met someone new. And this is the person that you want to be with. All right. <laughs> Virgo. If you is this is your birthday. Happy birthday to all the Virgos. Okay. If you need a personal reading for me, all the information is down below in the description box. Until next time. Bye-bye.